Straight to the top story on Reporter Zari, it was a disappointing quarter two for IT Bellwether TCS, whose dollar revenue mistreat expectations. The management in its commentary has said that the uncertain global picture has resulted in holding back discretionary spending, which in turn might have resulted in the tepid revenue growth. Prashant Nair now joins us to decode the numbers further. Prashant. Well, on the revenue front, TCS has missed expectations. I don't think there can be any doubt about that. Consider this 0.3% uh, dollar revenue growth quarter on quarter. Uh, the expected number was about 1.8%. Uh, you include the cross-currency impact. The constant currency growth came in at 1%. Uh, the expected number was about 2.4%. So, I mean, on dollar revenue, on constant currency revenue, both a clear miss. Uh, on the margin front, the numbers were better. TCS reported margins of 26%, expected was about 25.3 odd percent or so. Uh, and of course, as a result of the stronger than expected margin at a net level, the profit growth in excess of 4% also beat what was expected out there. Now, uh, what really uh, are behind the numbers? Three things. Let's divide these numbers into a geography and verticals. If you look at geography, Europe did very well. North America didn't do badly. Continental Europe and other geographies did okay as well. The pain point was India, where uh, revenues fell quite sh uh, steeply. Uh, so I think that was the big uh, geography pain point, uh, which I think one has to point out. As far as verticals are concerned, BFSI and retail. These are the two segments which were pain points for TCS in the quarter. BFSI single-handedly contributes about 40% of TCS's revenues, and the management commentary there did not uh, elicit too much confidence uh, you know, after the results as well. Retail, of course, the management did sound more confident. They said, well, these are purely ramp-up delays and some of these projects will come back up uh, for implementation in the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Uh, as far as geography is concerned, again, uh, the management did sound confident that uh, this is only uh, a one-off quarterly delay, uh, a dip that we're talking about as far as the India revenues are concerned. But I think uh, out of all of this, despite the profit beat, despite the margin beat, what the market is going to focus on is going to be the headline, the revenue uh, miss that TCS has reported. I mean, you know, revenues for TCS have been falling ever since financial year 14. Back then, constant currency organic revenue growth was 16% in financial year 14. It fell to from it fell from 16% uh, to 14 to 12%, which is financial year 16, and the expected number in 17 was close to about nine and a half, ten percent After this uh, uh, quarterly performance. I think that number is going to be pulled down from nine and a half, ten percent to about seven and a half uh, odd percent or so. So I think uh, the numbers on the revenue front uh, certainly disappointing. Uh, at a net level, numbers looking a little better. Back to you.